Today, we're going to spend a little time with a new product. It's called the Pro Swipe Acrylic Brush. It is acrylic synthetic filament, and the other end has a rubber tip to do a sgraffito or removal technique. Now, this three brush set comes in an acrylic, if you're an acrylic painter, it's a synthetic filament, or a white bristle filament if you're an oil painter. Both of them can do the same techniques, but I want to show you today, using the acrylic paint, how to use this brush set. So uh, the fil filbert, it's a number size 12, is what I'm going to be using to actually cover the board with a basic color. Now I'm using red because this will be the undercolor that will be scraped away a top layer of paint and reveal this underneath. And red is very striking. So I like using this technique in my work. A little bit of water. But this is just a basic starting point. This is how you would want to do it. Now you don't have to do the whole canvas. Perhaps you might want to just show this effects in different areas. Now as an abstract painter, I'm going to just do a little bit of this on here. I'm going to cover the whole canvas actually, but you don't have to do that when you're working. Perhaps just the areas when you're going to want to show that sgraffito technique. Now, you might go, well, what is sgraffito? Sgraffito is an actual removing of paint film, an upper layer to reveal a layer underneath. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's just applying the basic underneath layer. And again, I'm going to be using a little bit of this, it lays down a real thick textural effect on there. Now, if I could, of course, add the medium to several different colors to get the same effect. But what I want you to see, not so much from a compositional standpoint here with the boards, is what the technique of Scofito actually is. See, you've got one tool that will do the job. Before, I would have to take a palette knife, put it on, smear it around, that kind of thing. But with the brush in hand, the Pro Swipe, not only am I going to be able to lay the color on, I can get a nice textural brush effect, but I can introduce this little rubber tip here to actually scratch in and reveal the color underneath. The etching technique, you could use it almost like a scratch board technique or a, just a scraping in to create some unusual textures. I'm just going to get a little clean up here. Remove the material from your brush tip. Now I can come back or I can pull forward. You can see the more pressure I put, the thicker the line I can create using the side of it. So I can get all of these different shape lines and whether I'm using the filbert or a flat, which I'm more likely to use, I tend to do a lot of things using this flat brush. Now, in this case, the uh, Power Curl Pro Swipe is a number 10 flat or a bright brush. A bright is just a foreshortened flat. You can see if I don't like an area, I can come back and cover it right on up. But using that impasto medium to give a thicker layer really helps with the uh, introduction of a sgraffito technique. Take the excess off. Again, what it's going to do is going to create a linear element, and it's going to be an actually take away kind of thing. When I was in art school, I was a sculptor. Later on in life, I was a painter. Painter is a 2D additive method where I'm actually taking the paint and adding it to the canvas, where sculpting is kind of like carving where I'm actually taking away. So it's sort of like the yin to the yang. If I apply with a brush, I have the other end of the tip to take away. So it's kind of like a kind of holistic synergy that I kind of think about when I'm doing my abstract expressionist mind series of work. Just etching in, and depending on what you want, you could just etch a whole design if you want, or just create action. So that's the whole part of that, is to go in and remove the material and bring the underneath color out. So these boards will really transpose that idea across. Again, I can use now the round, which I will be able to paint and create linear positive marks. And then 
the tip, again, will be the linear subtractive marks.